got my drink. <laughs> well, <gasps> I know it's not alcoholic. Don't care. We got a thing. It is Scalefast CO Technicolor. Like my raincoat. And I'm way too excited. This video is a little bit different than the others. Mostly because it's just past Christmas. Got my airspace pocket. And mm. ah, not one, not three, but two. Two secret lyrics for life. Now, I decided to do something a little different with this one. Since I've been buying so many secret layers and specialty products from Pokemon and Yugi and Magic. You know, Pokemon stuff's for the kid. Yugi is nostalgia. Magic is... It was my first bay. So, I decided that I was going to buy an extra one just in case this channel ever does kick off and let them sit around while they're sitting around they may accrue value, they may lose value don't care I don't care about the value you people might uh, yep, ship quantity too I know there's been the big hullabaloo about whether or not these things are worth it but people like them People hate them. I like them. They're cool. This one is going to sit around until who knows when. It may be a channel giveaway. It may be a Christmas present in the future for somebody. Who knows? We'll find out when it happens. But I thought I already got enough of these I make good enough money without ever making anything off the YouTubes. My bills are paid. My kid is fed. And happy. And she gets all the nerds that she ever wants. So, why not get an extra just for... I don't want to say fan service. Get an extra fan service in the future. Oh, that Teferi's protection is very pretty. And unfortunately, it probably doesn't come off too well on the camera. It just got here and it looks like they're warping. That's why that one's going to sit in its box until it gets a different owner. Now, to tell the truth, I only bought this one for the Teferi. Okay, the Ambulator figure too. Amulet figure. I didn't know where I wanted to put it. I knew I had to put it somewhere. But. Protection looks pretty. Consecrated Sphinx looks pretty. I know. Right now I'm going to use myself on camera. It kind of sucks. Hate on me later. Or do it now. Coco. Collected company. Looks really cute. Got the the little cub. A Johnny's just being a good person. Oh, he's got oh, he's got one on his back too. <laughs> and there's two of them play fighting in the background. That's awesome. Don't know if I have a home for that. The consecrated sphinx and the amulet of vigor. I'm working on a mono blue meme deck. Uh. Patron of, patron of the Moon, Landfall. 
I found a silly way to do infinite shenanigans only using lands. It'll take some setup, and it's a Christmas Wonderland kind of deck. The Coco is probably going to sit in this box for the rest of its life. The Teferi's Protection, though, costs 3 mana. 3 mana is a very good number. Because I run a Kalia EDH deck that has Obosh as its companion. 3 drop Kalia, 5 drop Obosh. It started off as some weird dragon, demon, angel hybrid thing with Jiggy. With a uh, Sunforger package in it, because I've had a foil Sunforger since it came out. I have played it a lot. I'm really surprised it's in as good condition as it is, considering the fact how many years worth of shuffling it has on it. Uh, it might even pass for near mint still, but I love the card. I've always loved Sun Sunforger. Teferi's Protection is going to go right into that deck because I've been slowly filtering it over to just basically Mardu Angel Obosh shenanigans. A bunch of life gain, a bunch of targeted removal. And I think, yeah, this is the Johnny, uh, Johnny the Great Hearted. I think all of them came with this one. Makes sense. It's the Johnny. Um, is this a Johnny Lucas? Please do not be as bad as that Davriel. Davril? Davriel? The amount of black one. Looked like he had a face painted on him. No. That Johnny looks really cool. Hey, there's going to be a flood market with a bunch of these cool looking Johnnies. He looks a lot better than the other. What is on my hand? Oh, who knows? He looks really good. Uh, too bad I don't have an immediate home for him. And I got a bunch of EDH decks. I've been running enough that at one point I had like four Grixis decks. <laughs> they all did different things. Like zombies, token tribal, like Grixis token tribal, which was kind of fun. I actually combined the zombies into token tribal, made them zombie army tribal. Or zombie army token tribal. So like that's a thing. It hasn't won any games yet. It's made a couple people think. Uh, especially when your zombie army token gets into like the twelves. That deck was fun, but like, I had to cut it back into one of each color. He, I kind of want to put him into my. Uh. Oh my goodness. Leave this in here, Dan. This is how you think. The uh, Karametra. The God. I have the Karametra Tribal, or not, uh, Enchantment Tribal. I mean, it's not really Karametra Enchantment Tribal. It's basically get Sienna, go infinite, win. What are you doing? Okay, you're not going to listen to me, are you? Cool. Freshly washed hair. Well, went to the store and came back. But, the Johnny looks really pretty. I am... Um, I have a friend who also bought one, actually bought five of these. <laughs> he doesn't even know why. He, has, he just bought them in... for whatever... for science. But he... he drinks a lot. <laughs> Lives by himself. Uh, he had them sitting out and he made a bunch of tweets and he made a small video but I think he put it on Twitter he's like oh they're pizzaing or they're uh, pretzeling and the curling and or Pringles that's what we've been calling them Pringles it's like they've been turning into Pringles and that it's like it's because you're letting them sit out dude you have moisture in the air in your apartment now granted this house is better humidity controlled than a one bedroom apartment but I was kind of lucky that way. Hopefully I can find another house that's like this. This place is nice. A little too big. And by a little too big, I mean like... I couldn't... Uh, I could rent out places in here. Wouldn't even use the fucking barn. Don't need my barn. But, who knew? 
four and a half bedroom house, or four, five bedrooms? One, two, three, four, four bedroom office, one and a half, huge fucking place. Unless someone dies, then it'll get smaller, or bigger. Hmm. Either way, these cards look really, that Amulet of Vigor looks really good. It's a little dark. Boop. Look, at me, look at them all again. They're all a little dark, which kind of sucks. I mean, it looks a little light on the camera, but... The Consecrated Sphinx is about the best looking of the bunch. Hmm. You know. And Coco. <laughs> You're going straight back into the box. Anyway, I guess that was all. As always, there will be more of these in the future. Oh, super light rat. Fun deck. Mono black rats. Not like winning off a uh, bunch of little plague vermins. Oh, you guys are going into homes immediately. I'm not. I, I, Bought dinner. It's hot. It's sitting up there. I'm gonna wait. Hmm. Kalia needs Teferi's protection. Cause let's face it, it's like the best Sun Forger target. LOL. I'm not dead. <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for your time, guys.